Hey there, YouTube, Tumblr, Facebook. Uh, welcome to another episode of Cosplay How To's. And today I have my friend, Punchy. And <laughs> we're going to talk about craft foam. This stuff. This stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. Anyway, uh, okay, so, um, now, Ponchi's a really, really awesome cosplayer, and she's worked extensively with craft foam. So, I asked her, like, a couple days ago if she would like to be on the show, and she said sure. So, um, you made a Black Rose cosplay from Dot Hack, mm -hmm. and you made the armor itself out of craft foam. Yeah, everything is pretty much craft, craft foam. Uh, how did you, like, shape the craft foam? Like, how do you, like, mold it to fit, like, an armor shape? Well, what you do first is you take the craft foam and you, you know, ignite your stove and you place it on there. And one, when craft foam gets hot, it likes to flex. So once it, once it gets to that point where it's, like, it's kind of like butter, this is not a good word, but it'll get to that point where it's really hot. And once it's there, what I did is, um, you can bend it like this, or you can bend it like this, or and it'll keep this shape. Or you can simply just like put it over the part where you need it to um, to be armor. So I had a breastplate, so you know you just I, stuck it like, there. You know, kind of stuck it there, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll keep that shape. And so what I ha I had a big sheet of craft foam, and I cut it out. I cut it out to where I think it approximately would um, fit me as a breastplate. And then I heat it up and I put it on my boobs. Yeah, there's a breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, um, my other pieces of armor were um, pretty much the same. I had like a little arm thing, so... Like a bracer? I, yeah, a bracer. And I took the craft foam and I put it over put it over my, um, my arm. But also I put it over a dodgeball because it was kind of like a... It was a large bracer. Kind of did like this. <laughs> so, um, that's what I did. Everything else was just like simply folding this way. And it keep, keeps that shape. Oh, cool. So that's how to make armor. Um, now, in my other videos, you, you might have saw when I was talking about Hawkwing earlier, um, I had craft foam wings, like the base of it was craft foam and like wire so it could be bending and flexing and feathers. That's basically all that was. But, um, unfortunately, I don't have it to show because my dog, like, ate through the craft foam, ate through the feathers. I was able to just salvage, like, one-third of the feathers. But, um, if you look at my other videos, you can see, like, the craft foam base. And, uh, we'll try to get a picture of that. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, Ponchi actually cosplayed Princess Luna, and she made her, uh, wings out of nothing but craft foam. So, could you tell us how you did that? Yeah, so um, what you do is I cut out about 120 separate feathers out of um, craft foam, the, um, and then I cut out little triangles, so they're all like, there's lots of feathers. I made a base out of wire, it's, a, it's like a U shape, so you take the wire, it's like this, and this, and this. So, um, after you do that, you add a, another base, a really large base of just, like, um, craft foam. And need, this large base that's attached to the wire needs to support all the other feathers, feathers you're going to put on there. So, um, once I made that really large, you know, base and it was really sturdy, it could fit on my back and whatnot, I took the um, craft foam feathers and I heated them up, I bended them inwards to each other like this sort of yeah just like yeah just like that just to give it a little more volume because when you when you don't do that your um, wings are gonna look really like two-dimensional so yeah, I wanted to look cool <laughs> so. so she had like a bend at like the base of the feather but by the time it was coming out it went out like this so it looked more feather like uh -huh. and uh so after that you know I um I just attach them basically. Um, you take the you take the thinnest part of the feather and you attach it with hot glue to the base and you keep on layering until you get to the absolute top of the feather of the wing and you do that for each four sides and that's about it. Okay, so um, I've seen you use a hot iron to actually heat up the craft foam 
And you said also a stove. Any other, like, tools aside from the craft foam and scissors itself? A heat gun. I'm too poor for that. A heat gun? Yeah. Okay, well... A heat gun would be best, but... Heat gun, okay. I think I got money. <laughs> <laughs> That's cosplaying life for you guys. Yeah. You're gonna not have that much money, but hey, it's still fun as hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, also, uh... Yeah. Oh, uh, I like craft foam for a lot of reasons. Like, uh, it's cheap, and... It can look really good when you um, use it properly. Like I, um, with the Rena cosplay, after you make after you make your armor, you need to seal it. Yeah. Like with half Elmer's glue, half um, half um, water, okay. and you just brush over it. And I brush over my craft foam like thirteen, fifteen times just to make sure that this spongy texture turns into a sleek one. And after that happens. You can spray paint it with, you know, a uh, uh, regular color, and then you do it with a glossy color, and it's going to look just like crap. I mean, just like um, armor. Yeah. You can completely transform crap foam. So, if there was, like, cosplaying mana, it would be crap foam. <laughs> I love crap foam. <laughs> I love you, crap foam god. <laughs> crap foam gods. I know. Praise this video. I know. Okay. <laughs> so, um... If, if you guys have any other uh, ideas that you have with craft foam that we didn't go over, please leave it in the comments. And um, I'll see you guys out there and have fun cosplaying. <laughs> Alright, later YouTube. Bye.